general overview of the play and what audiences might expect from American Idiot? Um, American Idiot is surrounding, it's a story surrounding these three friends who grow up in uh, suburbs in a post 9-11 society in America we, where we have, you know, all this media over stimulus as, as we do in this in this day and age. Um, and they feel trapped and, and kind of need to get out, um, as happens. <laughs> um, so the three of them wind up getting separated and going on three separate journeys. Um, and I kind of come in with the main guy, Johnny. He winds up going to the city and feeling you know, alone as one can and not connecting with anyone and, and not sure of what to make of it. And um, St. Jimmy comes in and shows him a path to walk down uh, of sex, drugs, and rock and roll um, and leads him to a girl and, you know, that he falls in love and, um, and leads him down the path of drugs. And, and it winds up having a very real, you know, side effect. And um, so I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end, but, it, but, you know, it definitely deals with those themes and, and the three friends wind up coming of age and realizing certain things and and yeah it's really it's really a good story okay so what inspired you to pursue professional theater and specifically what attracted you to a play like American Idiot well you know I started as a as a singer um when I was before I can remember really um and theater just kind of came naturally and and I've just always loved doing it I mean I've always been a musician so you know then to be part of a, a rock opera that's really so music focused is really cool because I really I, I get to I get to sing stuff that's that's a little crazy and a little bit a little bit out there um, and I, I love that and I think that's that's really what's fun for me about this show is 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 that that singing and plus obviously getting to be the bad guy is, is definitely has its perks <laughs> And so your character, St. Jimmy, what can audiences expect from him? Can they get um, an idea of what he's like just from listening to St. Jimmy? Um, you know, obviously there's, there's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like he's a drug, you know, he's, he's, he's alluring, he's sexy, he's, you know, there, there's a very real take in this um, show to drug addiction and, and because there's a reason that, that people stay in it that stay stuck in it and and i think that's important because it's cool because um the show deals with that in a very real way which most shows don't um so we deal with the romantic side and so yeah saint jimmy's saint jimmy's romantic he's sexy he's charismatic and that's the truth of of a lot of those drugs and 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 how they lead you down that path you know so you would say that the songs on the album are very closely related absolutely to the I mean absolutely without a doubt uh, Billy Joe knows what he's talking about when he's clearly from his current you know issues and, and all our thoughts are with him right. so what would you say is your favorite part of the play um I think the death of St. Jimmy is my favorite song to sing um probably because it's you know the most dramatic <laughs> um, but I can't exactly tell you much about it but it's uh that's definitely my favorite number to do. <laughs> and what's the what's the most challenging part about being a part of this production? Um, I think overall, for most of the cast members, it's the physicality. The, the choreography in the show is, is some of the best choreography I've ever seen in my life. And, but it's very, very athletic, and it's a lot. And so our guys are panting, and, and it's, it's really a workout. Um, so I think, I think that's probably the hardest, to be doing the the singing like the scream belting that has to happen in the show and and really dancing hard and and i think that i have the most respect for ensemble because they do it with flying colors right. yeah so what would be your most rewarding part for this production um i mean honestly getting to tour around and see places that I've never seen before for my job. I mean, I, I got to go to the UK and do the premiere of the show there. I get to go to Asia this summer. I mean, it, it's it's living the dream because it's, you know, my job is taking me around the world, which is which is so much fun, right. you know. But would you say that traveling is also kind of a challenge? Oh, of course. I mean, living in hotel rooms is not the easiest thing in the world. It's not like, you know, um, <laughs> the most alluring. but. But you know, it's it's part of the lifestyle, and, and we accept that. I'm just wondering if you have um, any advice for anyone who's pursuing theater professionally. Pursue it. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it. I mean, 
I can say that I'm a fairy tale story, you know, coming straight out of college and getting cast in a production and getting to tour. It's pretty unheard of. Um, and, and so I, I appreciate how lucky I am in that. Um, but I, I, just, I just tell anyone who wants to do it to just hold on because it's a bumpy ride. But I mean, obviously, if you're doing it, it, it's worth it to you. So keep on doing it. Right. Yeah. And um, just a random question. Have you ever <laughs> met any of the um, band members from Green Day? Well, or? obviously, there, there were talk of them coming to meet us in the UK, but then Billy Joe went into rehab. And, yeah. and, but his wife, Adrian, has actually, we've, we've seen her multiple times. She comes in and, oh, really? <laughs> and surprises us sometimes. Yeah, she was actually just with us last week. Um, so yeah, it's, they're there and they, they, like their manager has been with us and they, so their presence exactly, their presence is definitely felt and, and they definitely are actively invested in, in us and in, in this show still, which is really cool. Yeah. I guess my last question is, were you a Green Day fan before the play? I actually wasn't. Um, I, I obviously had listened to the radio growing up and everyone had heard about Green Day and, um, but I remember going to see the show for the first time on Broadway and, and the songs just kept hitting me, kept surprising me. And I was like, oh, I know that song. Oh, I know that song too. It was like a, a slew of songs that I just recognized and I didn't realize. Um, so, you know, I, I, knew, I knew Green Day and I knew all the music, but I just was never the person who bought the album and, and listened to it on repeat, you know?